Okay, today I'm going to show you how you can back up your entire XBM config. The entire XBM config can be backed up using the actual file structure within the Android box that uh, XBMC sits on. This will back up your add-ons, your add-on settings and every single thing that you've set up in your XBMC. Uh, whereas the XBMC backup add-on, which is in XBMC, will only back up certain uh, settings that you've done. It won't actually back up any add-ons that you've downloaded or anything like that. So basically on your Android box, if you browse to the local apps window, which is the one you can see here, and go into it, You then want to scroll across to File Browser. Now press OK on your remote control. OK, so once you're in here, you can see a bar across the top of the screen. This bar is basically your editing uh, menu. This allows you to copy, cut and paste, delete and select items. And this is the home button which will take you back to this page where you can see all the, uh, the different options below. So you can see the local disk which is the actual Android box memory itself. Uh, external storage card which basically means um, a uh, micro SD card or anything else that you plug into the side of it. But down here you can see the USB key that I've plugged in which is what I'm going to be using to back up my entire XBMC directory. So what you need to do first of all is you need to go into your local disk then into the Android folder. In here you'll see a data folder, so go into that and then this folder here is the one you want to copy and paste into your USB key. Now the way you do this is if you go back up, as you can see the highlight is on the question mark at the moment. So let's scroll across and we need to choose this. This button here will allow you to select an item. So press it and come down and then select this folder. On the right hand side you'll see a tick meaning that this folder is selected. If you go back up, go across to this icon here with the pen, select that and this is your edit menu. So basically I want to copy this. Choose copy, go back to the selection um, option and press that again because you'll, you don't want to select any other folders now, you just want to navigate to the USB drive. So click on the home button which will bring you out to all the devices and then go into USB. Once you're through here you want to choose the edit option which is the one with the pen on it and this will give you the option to paste. As you can see at the very top of the edit menu it's pasting the file. Now this can take anything up to 8 or 10 minutes depending on the speed of your USB key. Uh, it's quite important to have quite a fast USB key for this, so try and, get a, uh, try and use a good a quality one as possible. The size of the folder you're copying over, as it is uh, shipped out on our boxes, they're around 800 meg, but it really depends on when you're doing this, whether you've added more add-ons or, or some of that. I, I can't see it getting any bigger than uh, the 1.5 or you know, to 2 gigs. Okay, so that's finished copying now. So anytime you have an issue with XBMC, say you lose some add-ons or you get to a stage when you think, oh, I just want to overwrite it with a clean um, install to how it was working when you did the backup, you literally just reverse the process. So you plug in your USB key, navigate to where your org.xbmc.xbmc folder is, and you go through the same process again. So you choose the selection menu down here to select it, You've got the tick box on the right, then choose the edit menu and you want to copy. Then press on the selection menu again so it stops selecting folders. Then click on home, then down to your local disk, then down to Android and then into data. Now when you paste the item it will overwrite the folder that's already named that it will do that by default, it won't ask you if you, you're sure you want to do it. So choose the menu, choose paste, and as you can see it'll start copying it and overwriting the folder that's there. This is a great